Hello. In this session, we will study how to multiply any number by 5, 25, and 125 within a few seconds. That can save much of your time in uh, in your competitive examination and in your mathematics examination. So we'll see certain examples that how to multiply it by 5, how to multiply by 25, and how to multiply it by 125. So we'll see certain examples. First, we'll uh, take a small value. For example, you want to multiply 16 into 5. So uh, what you have to do here is whatever the number you have to multiply by 5, divide that value by 2, and then the result uh, you have to multiply it by 10. So like 16. So 16 divided by 2, it will be 8, then multiply it by 10. So the answer is 80. Now we'll take one more example like 19 into 5. 19 into 5, so uh, 19 divided by 2 is 9.5 into 10. So it will be 95. So these are the smaller values. We'll take higher values. For example, uh, you want to multiply 2, 1, 7, 5, 6 into 5. So again, this will be uh, divided by this number by 2. So it will be 1. Then uh, we'll take 0. 1 will carry here. 2 into 860. 1 carry here. 2 into 714. 1 carry here. 2 into 816. Multiply this number by 10. So you'll get 1. 0, 8, 7, 8, 0. Now suppose you want to multiply uh, 9, 5, 7, 6, 4, 3 into 5. Now again divide this value by 2. So uh, 9 divided by 2 that is 8. So we will 1 carry here. So 4, 1 carry here, 2 into 7, 14, 1 carry here, 2 into 8, 16, uh, 1 carry here, 2 into 8, 16, 2 into 2, 4, then 2 into 1, 2, so 1 will remaining, so we will take 0, so point here, so 2 into 5, 10. Uh, then we have to multiply this value by 10, so when you multiply by 10, the point gets shifted towards the right hand side by 1 decimal, so it will be 4, 7, 8, 8, 2, 1, 5. So this is how we can multiply any number by 5. So what you have to do is, you have to divide that value that you want to multiply by uh, 5, you have to divide that value by 2, then multiply the result by 10. So dividing by 2 is very easy and the, whatever the result you are getting, multiply it by 10. So by taking more number of examples, your speed will increase and that can be very helpful in your examinations. Now we will uh, take example how to multiply any number by 25. So we will take another uh, same example that we have taken in uh, first part that is multiplying by 5. So in this we will take like 16 into 25. So in this while multiplying by 25 you have to divide that number by 4 and multiply the result by 100. So divide this number by 4. So when we divide this number by 4 so it will be 16 divided by 4 is 4 then multiply this value by 100 so it will be 400. Now we take another example uh, 5, 6, 7, 6 into 25. So if you want to multiply 5, 6, 7, 6 by 25 divide this number by 4. So again 4 into 1, 4, 1 will carry it here 14 then 4 into 1, 4, 3 will carry it 4 into 9 that is 36 into 100. So it will be 141900. So this is the answer when we multiply this number by 25. We will take another example like uh, 7, 6, 1, 4, uh, 1, 7, 1, 3 into 25. Now again divide this value by 4. So when you divide this value by 4, so 4 into 1, 4, 3 will carry here, 4 into 9, 36. So uh, now 1 will not go, so we will take 0 here, 0, so uh, now it becomes 17, 4 into 4, 16, then 1 carried here, then 4 into 2 is 8, so 3 will carry it here, 4 into 8, 32, then 1 will carry it, we will take 0, so we have to take point here, then 4 into 2 is 8, so uh, 4 into 2 is 8, so 2 will remaining, so we will take 0, 4 into 5, that is 20. So now multiply this value by 100. So when you multiply any number by 100, that if there is a decimal, it will shift it towards the right hand side by two places. So uh, 
so this is the answer when you multiply this value by 25 so what you have to do just divide that number by 4 uh, and then multiply the result by 100 so you don't have to show this multiplying by 100 while doing it you can mentally calculate by multi uh, when you multiply by 100 just the decimal gets shifted toward the right hand side by two place and if there is no decimal so you have to add just two zeros after the result so this is how we can multiply any number by 25 now we'll see the example how to multiply any number by 125 so by multiplying by 125 what you have to do you have to divide that number that you want to uh, multiply by 8 and multiply the result by 1000 so uh, we take example smaller value like 16 again 16 into 125 what you have to do you have to divide this number by 8 then multiply the result by 1000 so 16 divided by 8 is 2 divide multiply this number by 1000 so it will be 2000 now we will take another example like 5, 6, uh, 8, 2, 4 uh, multiply by 125 so if you divide this number by 8 so 7 into 8 that is 56 now uh, 1 so 8 into 1 8 then 2 will not go so we will take 0 2 will carry here so 24 into 3 8 into 3 that is 24 then multiply this value by 100 sorry 1000 so 3 0 we have to add so 7 1 0 3 0 0 so this is how we can multiply any number by 125 we will take one more example uh, for example you want to uh, multiply uh, 9 4 1 6 4 uh, 3 into 125 now again 8 into 1 8 1 will carry here then 8 into 1 8 now 6 will carry here now uh, 8 into 7 56 uh, so 56 so 5 will carry here then 8 into 7 56 so 4 will not go will take 0 then 4 will carry here so it become 43 so 43 8 into 5 uh, 8 into 5 that is 40 so 3 is remaining will take 0 so we will take point here then 8 into uh, 8 into 3 that is 24 24 so 6 will be remaining will take 0 then 8 into 7 that is 56 then 4 will remaining will take 0 then 5 so uh, 1177.375 uh, 7, 5, when we divide this number by 8, multiply this now by 1000. When you multiply it by 1000, the decimal will shift towards the right hand side by 3 place. 1177053753. So, this is the answer when you multiply this value by 125. So, you have to divide that number by 8, then uh, multiply it by 1000. So, this is how we can multiply any number by 5, 125, and 25. So in 5 what you have to do you have to divide that number by 2 and multiply it by uh, result by 10 and by dividing it by 20 uh, multiplying by 25 what you have to do, uh, do is you have to divide that number by 4 and multiply the result by 100 and while uh, multiplying any number by 125 then divide that number by 8 and multiply the result by 1000. So this is how you can um, multiply any number uh, when you come across like you have to multiply by 5 or 25 or 25 within a few seconds that will uh, save much of your time in your examinations thank you hope it will be helpful thank you